As we look at the day for William Byron, the 24 car, Started on the pole, finished third. Pretty uneventful day. Anything but that. Yeah, it looks uneventful. If you, if you put it up in a graph, the fastest way between two points is straight. He went any way but straight. After about three or four laps, the bottom fell out of segment one. He had so many issues. He dug such a deep hole. He spent the entire second segment of the race trying to dig his way out to see the light of day. Finally, he gets to the third segment. He's back in the race, and he makes the most of it. Let's go to the video and, and, and show where the day kind of started on Ravel early laps. He's leading the race. He's coming off a of turn two. You talked about this unloaded. It gets loose. Way loose. Way late. He's almost out on the straightaway when this thing turns sideways. He gathers it up, obviously loses a few position, but doesn't really feel anything wrong with the car. It keeps going. But it, it, later, it continues to struggles. Lap 36, he comes to pit road to work on it. Inevitably, that's that ugly thing. A speeding penalty on green flag pit stop. Puts him a lap down, almost two. Yeah, post the 24. That's a, that you, you hate to hear that. And here we just saw him get loose again in the middle of the corner, right there in front of Daniel Suarez. So obviously, even though they've been to pit road, he's had a penalty, they've not fixed the car mechanically for him to drop. Like 10 to go on the stage, they come back to pit road under green. They're two laps down at that point when they get to the stage end. As you talked about, they dug the hole, right? Stage two became a different, a different yes. story. Yeah, stage two, you've got a total reset. You gotta push that reset button and say, okay, now we're starting this segment. How do we get back even? How do we get back in the game? How do we get flush? They did a lot of work. Rudy worked on this car all day long. I think when we looked at this uh, pit stop graph that we've got up here of his day, they stopped several times during this day. And if you put tires on every time, you're not gonna have any tires left. Rudy was really good at working on his race car. They got themselves in position in stage two at lap 113. They go ahead and they take the wave around. Unfortunately, it went green. They had to come back to pit road and they went back two laps down because they, they, they needed fuel. Took another wave around at 140 something and got a pretty quick caution after that. That gave them the free pass. They're back on the lead lap. Two laps down is a kiss of death in this, in this sport. You know that, it, you're, you're basically out of the race. He's been out of the race since about lap 36. That's where the driver and crew chief, that's where the plan, everybody has to be on the same page and it's motivation. You gotta keep me pumped up and make me keep my head in Yeah, these two really kept working together through this. And then now that they've gotten themselves back in a lead lap, here's the last two pit stops. Really, really fast pit stops. I had them at, by the data I looked at, sub 10 second pit stops, 9.8 seconds. They're in pit stall one as well. Let's take a look at this as we come to pit road. And as you look at this pit stall one, stop right there. This yellow line here, that's just for where pit road speed is. Yes. That's not the one you gotta look at. The one that can't, the camera is on that NASCAR dictates who is in what position, that's this white line right here. And as you see it there, uh, let me clear that out of the way so you can see it. William Byron's touched the white line before Denny Hamlin yes. here. It's, it's an advantage to win on Saturday. That win in the pole gets you that great pit belt stall. He got some spots there, he got him in the next stop as well. Yeah, on the next stop as well. You look at it, he jumps, and there's, that's the hard thing to keep, keep in mind is that line. You're racing to that line off of pit road, and then you fall back in line. This is a team sport, and this team picked it up right here and kept him in the race and put him in position. That put him in position where he could race up front, inevitably leading to a third place finish, with a car that Rudy really had to work on all yeah. day to get the balance back, but they dug themselves back out of the hole. A lot of teams could have fallen into that and just given up on the day. They showed that they're championship caliber by working their way through it.